Now torque means that it takes two forces from opposing directions, one going one way and one in the other, that causes an object to rotate about a point. Now, in other words, if I come up here and if I take both hands and both forces, though, going the same direction, notice I move the handle, but I didn't cause the bat head X to accelerate. So torque really has to be applied from these opposing directions, one hand going in one direction as the other hand goes in the other direction. As you can see, that does cause this uh, the bat to, to rotate. Now, that can be done in a baseball swing now. Uh, out here, in other words, we could hold this hand still and push on that hand. Notice there's no forward movement. That is a straight torquing action. Or I could hold this hand still, and I could actually pull over here. Once again, those are opposing directions. Now, even though this hand doesn't move, that doesn't mean it isn't applying force. Believe me, I can feel that force pulling back against this hand as I pull with the other hand. So even though it's still, it's applying an opposing force. So we've shown you how now we isolated the pendulum effect. Now the way we isolated torque is basically we just don't move the hands. There's no way can we have a pendulum effect with a still hand. So any bat speed that would be generated while this hand is still, in other words, would be strictly from torque. And so I can just show you all of that speed right there comes strictly from torque action, holding this hand or the pressure of this hand and the pulling of this hand. All right, now the second way would be to hold it in this hand and push here. Either way, we're generating torque on the bat, and there isn't any pendulum effect in, involved. And, and we found out that uh, under actual tests, we were producing about the same bat speed with the torque as we did with the pendulum effect, somewhere around 45 to 50 miles an hour.